Now, will you look at that? Oh my goodness. So, this is how far the coffee table came. So, what I did last time was I had the pieces all together. I, well, I didn't have them together. I had them all separately. I had the legs. All I did since then was I attached the legs to that piece and that piece. And I stuck it all together upside down on plastic sheeting inside where I'm sure there was flat ground. And since then I clamped the ends to make sure they were flat because at the ends they wanted to be uneven where they were glued together. The whole thing's been glued together. The inside there is one level down. That needs to be uh, covered with something. I'm going to cut around the inside, get rid of the excess glue, fill in all the gaps. And then I'm going to uh, put MDF with a good um, surface aesthetics in that hole to cover up that. What I had done is a ton of grinding to get rid of the surface so I could get to the wood chip and actually make it good for gluing to bite in because of the plasticated surface so that it would have a good bite. And since then, all that that is being held in by is glue. It's all held together now. And there are giraffe legs. It's all good. And the bits I'd cut out before I did that, I cut into these shapes. Yeah. The dark came from the dark side and the light from the light side. So I get the feeling when I put it together, uh, of course, this is not neat yet, I've got to deal with that. But I'm going to put the light side on the dark and the dark on the light. And it'll look something like that, but it's going to be filled in with resin. And then we're going to put heat resistant resin across the whole top. So if some loon that buys this, they're not a loon for buying it, they're a loon for what I'm going to say. If some loon buys this table and then puts their coffee on the surface without a coaster, not only well, yeah, the problem, they, it's feasible they'll get us a water ring until they wipe the water off and then there won't be any water in the shape of a ring, but it won't leave a mark because it will be coated with resin. But because of its heat resistance, the resin we'll be coating it with on the top, it shouldn't leave a heat ring. And that's important. Because my table will be coffee resistant. Yes, it will. All mugs be warned. Anyway, yeah, listen up, your mug. Anyway, <laughs> that's not to the viewers. I just thought that was a funny thing to say. Anyway, so it is messy at the moment in this. So I've got to deal with that. Get it all neatened up. Some of that will involve that. Some of that will just involve a boatload of filing. And the edge is insane at the moment. What I mean by insane is not good. All of these kind of catch, catch bits and stuff. And I need to level this all out because at the moment it's just bad, so I'm going to need to sand that all down, make it good, and then probably bring a chamfer on the inside so it comes in at an angle underneath. And I've got to do the same here. Make sure round this off a bit, because you've got some bits here that stick out. Round this off, fill in the gaps. I've already did a bit of fillering for gaps here. It actually looks a lot better there than it does anywhere else. But yeah, I've got to cut off the excess glue. got lumps of glue here for where it came down, because it was upside down when it was glued. It's leaked out. But yeah, that's where the table's at. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I've not been posting many videos on this table for a while, but that's because I was waiting for the glue to set. <laughs> Literally, most of what's happened is just me waiting for the glue to set. The legs actually being put on was the biggest thing that took no time, basically in comparison to the gluing. So, yeah. Now it's a table. Now it's a table. Bad table. Well, it's nice, but it doesn't feel nice or look great yet. The legs are the best bit. But let's make all of it fantastic, shall we? And it's sizable as well. So this is an angle grinder, battery angle grinder, quite a big battery on it. Uh, what else? Air defenders, you know, a glove. A glove is a good size comparison. You get a few mugs on there. You know, there's a chair. It's bigger than a chair. <laughs> so, yeah. That's where we've been going and that's where it is at the moment. I'll fill you in next time and see what's going to happen. It's going to be a lot more work before I can actually show anything substantial. <laughs> because it's going to be a boatload of sanding and filing. But it's going to look great when it's done. Absolutely fantastic. See you guys then.